Yes, ladies and gentlemen, spring has sprung. We can feel it with those warm temperatures, the sunny skies, the pollen out there. And it is time for some spring cleaning, not just inside your homes, but outside your homes too, because you want to make it look good. It's all about that curb appeal. So the man to help us out this morning is Stephen Brown. He is from Home Depot Regency Square. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. And you brought a lot of tools, some yes, new sir. technology and some old technology, uh, just to show people how they can make things a little bit better and do it easier because time is so precious to us and we don't want to spend all of our weekend out there in our yards. Sure. So what, what's the best advice here? Well, first of all, you're going to want to start uh, getting rid of some of your twigs and your bushes and your trees. So nice little handy axe here to get some of that knocked off. Then you want to get your uh, yard cleaned up and you got this nice lightweight Roby blower here. It's nice and quiet so you're not going to wake up your neighbors. Does the job, gets the stuff out of your way. I love that it's battery powered because oh, you yes. don't have to worry about priming it and pulling it and oh, the, yes. the gas oil mixture. The question is though, are these batteries, are they strong enough to do the job? For a normal uh, household consumer, yes. You know, it's gonna do it's gonna give you about 20 minutes of runtime, which is about what you should need to do for your job. Okay. So and if you got a really big yard, then you might want to consider just buying another battery. Yes. Okay. Yep. So what else? What else do we have well, here? Then you want to get rid of your weeds. So this right here, the Roundup, gets rid of your weeds and your grass and all your brushes. That's your old technology. My mom yes. has been using that. <laughs> but <laughs> it does the job still. I was still. a kid, it but it job. still does the job. Yes, yep. it does. So next you're going to want to kind of clean up your curb, and that's where the Ryobi pressure washer comes in handy over there. Get that all cleaned up outside your house. For those tough stains, we've got the Clorox outdoor cleaner. You're going to mix that with some water. Just start scrubbing away with the push broom. And for those hard to reach spots, we got that nice little block over there to get into the corners. And Stephen, I was talking to you about this because this is an electric pressure washer. Sure. One of our photographers here was nice enough, Matt Kinzig, to loan it to me because I needed to pressure wash my driveway and my sidewalk. And it's really cool that you're able to just plug it in. Oh, yeah. And it did the job. Oh, yeah. It did. And again, you don't have to worry about them mixing the gas and the oil and, and hearing that loud noise of that motor running, too. Yeah, and it's safe, even yes. with electricity and water? Oh yes. oh, yes. As long as you read the directions, right? Correct. Which us <laughs> men are not good at, I will point out. Correct. Hey. But overall, it, it's really easy. I'm not a genius when it comes to tools and electronics and, and things like that. But if I could do it, that means that <laughs> our other friends can as well. So oh, we'll, yes. What else is on the list? What else do we need to do All right, uh, well, to really win that award? Okay, well, you're going to want to clean your windows. We know that does get pretty nasty after a while. So we got this ultralight hose. It's very handy, very easy to carry. Anybody can carry it. You just hook it straight up into the pressure water, the, um, the nozzle here. Turn on your water. It's got two settings on here. It's got a clean setting and a rinse setting. Turn on clean, spray your windows down, put on rinse, rinse them down about 30 seconds you're good to go. Cleans them off for you. And the good thing about that is you just you just let it dry, right? Yep. It drips, dries, and then it becomes sparkly clean. Sparkly clean and crystal clear and you can see everything that's out there and everybody can see everything inside. Everything can <laughs> yes, and that's a good reminder there, okay? No Matthew McConaughey incidents here. Correct. <laughs> Google it if people have forgotten about that. But but yeah, so that's certainly very important. So so overall, I mean you can do this in a couple of hours. Correct. Oh, yes. And it's just, you got to take the time. And sometimes you got to invest in the tools. Yes. Because a lot of us, we have some really old blowers and pressure washers and this and that. Well, what about prices? Have you seen pricing go down over the years? Um, I would say I have, yes. It's, uh, it's becoming more affordable for consumers to uh, definitely keep their, their house clean inside and out. Yeah, so you don't necessarily need to spend hundreds of dollars anymore, no. especially some of these battery-powered ones I'm seeing. I mean, what are the prices? What, what are we looking at? Uh, for something like this, this is running right now. It's about $119, and it comes with your battery and charger. It comes right out of the box, ready to go. You don't even need to charge it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, this is a very decent lead price. Um, you don't have to worry about the maintenance or the fuel or this or that. You pretty correct. much just charge it, you set it, you forget it. Correct. Yep. Um, the other thing, you know, don't forget about your grill, you mm -hmm. know? We've got our uh, grill cleaner here. You're just going to take it. You're going to spray it on there. Take your steel side, give it a good scrub. Take your brush side, just give it a nice little rub down. Take a paper towel, wipe it off, and you're good to go again for the next day. Yeah, because unfortunately, some of us probably haven't used our grills <laughs> since maybe September, October, something like that. They can get pretty gross. Yes. So should you do this a day in advance, maybe, if you know that you're going to barbecue you on do Saturday, it do it Friday? You can do it the day of. Just make sure it's cool. You don't want to do it on a hot grill. 
Okay. Yep. Okay. So give it a little bit of time, do that, then turn the grill on. Correct. Cool. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for all of it. If you have any more questions, I'm sure you can find him. He is the guy in the bright orange at the <laughs> Home Depot out there in Regency Square, and it's certainly a place a lot of us are going to be heading to as we get ready for that spring cleaning and the renovations and just uh, just uh, updating our, our homes or our apartments inside or out. Stephen yep. Brown, thank you so much for thank coming you. on. I appreciate it. Good to see you. You too.